while most were enjoying their planned Emancipation Day programs on Wednesday, a family residing at Kingley Village on the west coast of Burbies was placed into a state of devastation after they stood and watched a building that they lived in go up in flames. Officer in charge of operations of the Guyana Fire Service, Burbies, Oliver MacDonald, said the mid-morning fire was caused by children who were left unattended and were playing with matches. Meanwhile, Maxwell MacDonald, 33, a carpenter, along with his wife and 13 children, are now using a small structure constructed with zinc to rest their heads at night. According to MacDonald, he was not at home when the fire started, but saw smoke coming from the building. One of me walked me and turned and told me, um, the fire looked like he died in your house. So I said, no man, the fire can die. I said, yeah man, the fire died in your house. I put on my work bag and I started to run when I come in. When I come in, the fire is from the back room. So I tried to get a bucket to throw some water. When I threw the water, it's like the vapor from the fire. I can't control the heat from the fire now. So I had to, you know, like, left it. The gas, the, when the fire take the gas bottle, they know, and they explode, the fire start running through the house. I try not to throw the water several times, I can't control them. So I just had to, you know, left everything let go down the side. McDonald explained that a one year old child was left in the building while it was in flames. I try my best to know, I see what I could do, but. You know, you couldn't. Them children can't do nothing. Them small, you understand me. I had to try my best to see me, to see where I could save the house. But when I, try, when I check in now for me, the little one, my son went up back the step and said that the, the baby left in the house. I fall along in the train in front there. I understand me because I don't tell myself so that he's so small, and you go can't run out of fire or can't escape with it. But God make it then the way that he escaped with his small sister. And I thank God for that. Meanwhile, the family is calling for assistance to get them back on their feet since nothing got through the fire. Nine of the 13 children attend the school and were anticipating the new school term, which is approaching. Meanwhile, government ministers have visited the family and pledged their support in assisting. Minister of Social Protection Amna Ali yesterday visited the family and invited them to her office to make further plans to help them getting back on their feet. The five victims also received donations from regional officials and neighbors. For the Evening News, Andrew Carmichael.